School Report. My name is Lauren. And my name is Miles. We are your BBC School Reporters bringing you a very special report. Recently, our school, Ren Academy, have created a link with Church Harmony School in Nairobi, Kenya. Through this partnership, we hope that Ren Academy can help provide opportunities for our partner schools. But most importantly, we hope that Ren Academy and Church Army School can both learn from each other about how to provide opportunities for students from both sides of the world. We've interviewed our school chaplain, Mr Booker, to find out more about the project. Okay, so first off, what is the Link School Project? Uh, the Link School Project is a way of us making friends with a school in Nairobi in Kenya. So they're a primary school with about 600 students. Um, and we think we can learn a lot from them. We can learn about their life, learn about the kind of things they do. Um, and hopefully they can learn a lot about our life um, and learn about how we do things in school. Okay. So that both can you explain sides... what the Year 7 writing project is? Yep, all of our Year 7s are at Letters. Um, they talked a little bit about their life, a little bit about what they did in school, and asked some questions to the students in Kenya. And then the students in Kenya wrote replies. They were really excited to get the letters because most of them didn't know anyone in the UK. Uh, most of them had never had a letter before from somebody not in their family. Um, so they were all reading their letters and most of them wrote letters back. Um, and some of the things surprised our students. Some of them said their favourite food was pizza. Um, and I think our students were expecting something very different. And some of the things were a bit shocking because they realised that students there got up. Okay, so I have your letters from Kenya, which is really exciting. Um, they've been written by your pen pals in our sister school in Kenya. And I'm going to hand them out. As soon as you get them, read through them really carefully and we'll see your reactions to them. Okay? Who's it from, the lady? Oh, wait, that's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, Gulf Spain. Oh, yeah. It says, Dear Lady, greetings to you, my pal. My name is Mary. And in that way, you're not only finding out about your student, you're finding out about not the Right back to her because it seems nice. She's not my new best friend. <laughs> I've never been to Kenya, so I really enjoyed getting a letter from someone who has been to Kenya. And yeah. that actually you do have one, it's just somewhere else. Just students, and she said even to me that's a lot, so it looks like she's having a good time. And why did you write these letters? What's the connection with the school in Kenya? I think it's because so they could have like a better time, so that we can maybe help them, other students to have the um, opportunities that we have. I think we can learn all sorts of things. I think. Um, Quite often in this country we take things for granted and we, we have got an amazing school, we've got lots of resources, we have got lots of really skilled teachers and when you go somewhere else suddenly you realise you can't take that for granted because the children in the school there haven't got all the things we've got. Uh, but at the same time there are things that they do that can challenge us. Uh, they took me to uh, one of the slums to meet one of the children on their bursary project and the bursary project lets students who couldn't afford to go to the school normally um, get an education. So we went through the slums and we had to walk past the open sewers. We had all the smell coming um, from there. Um, and when we got there, a lovely lady just told me her story about why she was there. She talked about when her husband died. She talked about um, how they'd had to move and how her daughter had had to change school. Um, and that was really heartbreaking because you're sat, you know, it's like we're sat from each other. And there's somebody telling you about a desperately poor life. Um, and there's so much responsibility now on her daughter to get a good education to try and help her mum. That um, the mum was in tears by the end, the daughter was in tears by the end, I was in tears by the end. Um, because it was just such a hard situation to be in. Um, but the hope... That brings us to the end of our report on Ren Academy's partnership with our Link School in Nairobi, Kenya. This is only the beginning though, so keep an eye out for future developments about the partnership bringing the two schools together from across the world.